this is to give you an idea of how quickly I'm fabricating these. So I have a little template that I made. You can see that I basically line it up right here. And this is the pre-drilled one, so it's just to use an example. And then I would just tighten the clamp down. Not too tight or you'll, you'll get bowing. If you look at the side, bad shot, but right here, if you tighten it too far, this will start are coming this way, and it won't be very good. So, anyways, you can see that if I were to push this down, it pretty much goes right in the right spot right and then what we turn around is we do all of them on that side to save from moving stuff around I can actually do this one because it hasn't been done yet so I don't have to do with one hand so bear with me this too you want to you want to make sure that it's it's more so on this as a right angle like this angle is right and then we're just gonna tighten it down just a little bit Make sure it's still straight. One hand here, so bear with me. I'm actually doing these very, very quickly. All right, so it's flush. I turn it on. So you heard that difference of noise when I got to the bottom. Uh, this is just a crappy um, device. So I have this pretty much these templates. You can see both of them now, the templates. So if we get this and we compare this. One second. The one I just drilled, we can see that it lines up pretty good. This is just eyeballing it. So that's how I'm going about doing it this way. Works a little bit faster than the sticker method. But you obviously have to have a, a drill press. And then these have been mitered. So they're all pretty accurate, it's, you know, whatever. But used a miter saw to cut all these. Alright, so that's the, uh, that's the gist of it.